Aha, good day. My name is Archmage Postumus. I was once head teacher, but I had to give up my position for obvious reasons. A little case of the death. After the Lord of Evil's last attack, I shall be on hand to help you take my place. Oh, we are the head teacher. Cool. This short tutorial will show you the basics. Let's do it. The bottom of the screen is your card hand. With these cards, you can build and customize your school, equip students, create new houses, play a card, select it, and move it towards the play area. Play this card and create a new house. Uh, when placing a building card, the room's access points are shown right, left, or stairs to access other floors. Rooms vary in dimensions and access points. Be careful not to block anything. Okie dokie. Upgrade items placed in the room's slots. The symbol in the bottom left of the card will be green if the school has one available slot. Red if not. Room cards specify which types of items they can house. You may draw from six different decks. To obtain new cards, when you draw, you choose one of three cards. The more you draw from the same deck, the more expensive the cards become. Kidoki. The standard deck mainly contains utility cards, refectories, dormitories, basic classrooms. These cards are bought with gold, which you gain when students apply and use the refectory. What's a refectory? But also, you lose through upkeep and teacher salaries. We have to pay these wizards. Five magic schools. Natural Light, Shadow, Arcane, Alchemy. Each deck is made up of cards specific to its type of magic and cost mana. Mana is created by students when they study that type of magic. Here you can change the speed of the game and pause it. The filter tab allows you to toggle filters that help you better visualize some aspects of the school. Okay. Events will appear here. Click on them to open them. The messenger guinea pig indicates that you can message neighboring factions. Send them the guinea pig. You may also contact them through the local map. Head teacher's office gives you school rules, which you can modify. From there, you can see the list of students that have graduated. Every student is given a future at the end of the curriculum, depending on their level. Wait, like literally, it's going to say what they went on to do in their life. If that's what it means, I would love that. The better their magic training is, the more prestigious their future will be and better the bonus they can provide the school. I have also already checked. I can rename the students. So if you guys want to go to school, you can. I hope that that's what that is. That would be really cool if we saw people's future. Statistics of school. This menu allows you to distribute students among houses and decide their priorities. School's prestige. Some artifacts create ingredients. Combine three of them in the cauldron to create a potion. Gives you an immediate bonus. Okay, there's a lot going on here. Some events will give you objectives. Fulfilling them gives you rewards. Timeline shows the Lord of Evil's progress. It lets you know how long remains until he arrives. When it completes, an undead army will arrive. Will come and destroy the magic school. At this point, your only option is to flee and build a new school. Communicate with the Lord of Evil or complete events may slow his progress. Interesting. All right, we're in. How loud is it? Seemed quiet whilst I was reading that, huh? Custom students. Enter the first name of the custom student you want to see in game. Customize students are back as rewards for crowdfunding. I've definitely seen when students show up that I can rename them, though. I don't think I have to do it in there. Alright, so, new house. Is that what I do first? House creation form. Do I, can, I can name the house. Okay. What would be a good... Bear Island house. This is like uh, Gryffindor, Ravenclaw, and that kind of thing, right? Um, house. Mm -mm -mm. House name. What kind of ones do they have in here? Torilda, Sarolan, Vermeer, Avildeld, Alfalfa, Torizak, Kiakan, Sharaj. Choose the discipline taught in this house so you can forbid them from learning certain types of magic. That's pretty interesting. This is the dark house for dark magics. And they get their own little sigil. <gasps> Tentacle house. Yes, it's meant to be. Actually, no, the first house should be the pancake house. Remind me later, tentacle. But I feel like our first school should be... Pancaka. 
they'll be like our uh, Hufflepuff. Pancakes are made with love. There we go. Big old pink heart. More blue. Bluey, bluey, bluey. There we go. Uh, blue. Throw in a little... What colour goes with it? A darker blue. That's nice. House... House pancake. Oh, yes. Bring back the sorting hat impression. <laughs> mm, I know where to put you. Select your new house's first feature. They are ambitious. Better chances to obtain the most beneficial futures after curriculum. Try and become an archmage. Then, even if you fail, you can still become a normal mage. Unbreakable. Reduce all health losses by 20%. Or courageous. I would say house pancake is... This is the perfect student ready to fight for life and their school's honor. Probably courageous. And their second feature, we have Diligent. A lot of time in the library, but they work well. Gourmet, quality meals, even in small quantities, is all they need. Or Comical. One class clown, the one who sits at the back near the corner. Uh, I guess Gourmet, because food. Courageous pancakes. Oh, they have a different uniform color. We'll make them this purple one. Okay. Then what do I do? Where do I click? Oh, my signature here. And I guess I'll let them learn everything just because it's the first house. But their priority shall be... Mm, light? I guess? No clue. Recruit new students. Is that what I need? Or maybe I should build this stuff first. A dormitory. Students hall. Refect refectory. Find animals that they summoned in druidism class on their plates with good pepper and anchovy sauce. Hmm. Shadow room. Alchemy room. Okay, let's have the alchemy here. <gasps> Loud. Choose one of these two applicants for the position of alchemy teacher. Remy Isambard or Hermione Huang. Corpor Sano. What does that mean? Sh slows the growth rate of needs by 20%. An ex-adventurer. A poser and a hypochondriac. Hawkeye, light sleeper, clumsy and greedy. Increases their own salary by 100%. I think we'll go with Remy. Thank you very much. Gets bored. Loses health over time. Real magic is all about big explosions, not dusty books. If you want to read some old books, go to the magic philosophy class down the hall. Okay, let's go with Remy. I can change... Oh! Did I hire them? I can do teachers' names as well, but I guess we'll just make you guys students, maybe. Forbidden from learning how to make waffles. Eh, gobbo puff. Nice. Do they arrive? Oh, here they come. Okay, which will continue to build. I guess we need a uh, student, eh? Da, 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 da. So here we'll. Here, this is how we'll do it. Who wants to be the first student? And we'll do it before it pops up, and then, you know, what you get is what you get, kind of thing. You know. We got five to get in. Cat. Let's put you in here. Cat. Woman of House Pancake. And you have Passionate. You learn the fourth and last magic levels 25% faster. This one knows where they're going. You're a hypochondriac. And unfortunately, ugly apparently. It loses much more sanity when other students are mean to them. No bullying in this school. Wait, there's a general class too. I wonder if I can rename that class. Um, usually you'd make a speech about inner beauty, but in their case, I'm sorry I can't. Wow. We'll put you in house pancake. Yeah? Is that how I do it? Okay. And the next, uh, was Chelsea. Chelsea McToot. 
you are an ambitious and arcane scholar and a coward, unfortunately. Into Pancake. Uh, next, Pan. No longer Douglas, this little ginger hamlet looking fellow becomes Pan. You are a gourmet procrastinator. I'm watching some very important paint dry, but I promise I'll write this description later. Pan of Family Dalim. But I'm Calfi. No longer Maud. You got some nice, like, purpley pink hair. You're just ambitious. A bit slow. You're in oh, I didn't see this before. Intelligence. You're well off and a bit slow. I didn't see that on the other ones. I wonder what they were. Cal of House Fee. But I want Darth Stoat. You are a courageous and well-behaved, aggressive peasant. <laughs> no longer called Cyril, but Darth Stout. You actually look very fitting for your name, your hood up and your scar there on your face. Darth Stoutus. And this is like your magic stuff. Well-behaved. Same as drugging them, but less costly. A perfect student. So how do I see... Can I rename that other house? This one. Maybe we'll just remove this general house then. It doesn't look like I can edit it. And we'll have this house pancake be our general class. That sounds good to me. Uh, your university's entrance serves no function other than allowing students and teachers to enter. Oh look, and we can really zoom right in. Oh my god, you can zoom in so far! Goodness me. Wow. Teaching nobody, just practicing. Oh, hey, look, new students have joined. Let's see, who is still... We had Salem next. Look at you, you got an eye patch. You look kind of... kind of. You look like you should be in a different house, honestly. This, I feel like... I w maybe I can move you afterwards. This, You look like you're working in some dark magics here. Um, you're a worker. It's good to find the rare students who bother to take notes, but you're also pretentious. Everyone hates them, except for those who are like them. They only pay attention to themselves. And you're allergic to pollen. Can't stop sneezing and blowing their nose. Oh. We'll throw you into house pancake. Uh, shell. You got an eye patch too. Why do I feel like this should have been the next bunch? Shell of house on earth. You are an orphan, you are ambitious, but you are also deaf and old-fashioned. And a little bit slow, unfortunately. But I'm boom Larisek. Laris of House Sec. You are a steadfast, and no one knows if this person is deaf or doesn't care what happens around them, but a also a chatty coward. How do they manage to talk so much? It's insane. Don't they need to breathe? We should throw them in the lake to find out. Bum, bum, boom. <clears throat> Next names. Sheeps. A lot of cowards. Sheeps. Of family O. A shadow disciple. Spending your days in caves, looking at glowing plates, clicking on a mouse. And a coward. I think I've got two more, one more. Bada Ashley. No longer Ruby. But Ashley of family. Kelly. A child of nature. You learn natural magic faster and you are old fashioned. There we go. Let me make a new house. Let's make this a naughty house. And that'll be the house of the tentacle. What would be like a sort of magical sounding house name for like an octopus tentacle thing though? Rather than it just being, <laughs> I'm in house tentacle. Let me find the squid in here. And then these can be like our dark magic pupils. And I might move some of you over into this house. If that's possible, I don't know. Where'd the squid go? There it is. Bum 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 bum. We shall put you with that behind. I feel like it's just a cool emblem, isn't it? 
And I guess it should be lots of sort of watery greens and stuff behind there. What colour should the squid be? A red squid. Oh, maybe it should be um, green and black back there. No, what are you doing? A red squid. Bum, bum, bum. There we go, that'll do. <clears throat> Ooh, Kraken. That's a great suggestion. House Kraken. I like that. And we'll say the priority, I'm guessing, we'll do Shadow. Um, I don't know if I should forbid them from studying anything yet. I don't know the game enough. Oh look, you have different stuff here. House's first feature, beautiful. Worker, child of nature, nature magic. I guess for a Kraken they could be nature as well. Um, steadfast, chosen by the light, absolutely not. Jack of all trades. Loses 20% less sanity. I guess let's have them be steadfast children of nature in the Shadow Realm. And we'll have this black and red one. Yeah. And then, oh, there's events going on. The king sends his regards. Oh, a new school for my kingdom. How great. So very great. And I would very much like to help, for I am a fair and generous king. What do you need? Hmm. Funding? 200 gold or choose a card. Choose a card. The Assassin's Arena. Assassination skills. A Chamber of Truth or a Janitor's Lodge. The janitor is linked to shadow magic. You need a dark temper to scare off students. Here is where we train light magic mages who have psychopathic tendencies, otherwise known as inquisitors. Hmm. Improve assassination skills. It comes with a teacher. It's not magic, but mages with a secondary class are very popular. Let's have an assassin's arena. That sounds cool. The villagers send their regards. Hi there, we're from around here. We don't like trouble and we're not fond of strangers. What are you doing here exactly? Do not worry. We exclusively teach sacred magic in accordance with the rules of the Church of Light. Do not worry, for our school mainly trains mages specialised in the healing of farm animals. Do not worry, for our school mainly trains mages specialised in necromancy and the summoning of powerful demons. Popula reputation with peasants, minus 20. Reputation with Lord of Evil, plus five. So wait, it seems like if you wanted to, you can actually train your school to welcome the Lord of Evil back and then work for him. You can make an evil school. Interesting. Um, ooh, let's go down the middle with nature. Hey look, students are arriving. The Adventurer's Guild. I found a window between two troll massacres to come say hi. The opening of a new magic school is always good news for the Adventurer's Guild. What kind of mages do you train? Can mend folks that blow up things that know how to use trinkets? We can blow stuff up. Magical hat. Active teachers in this room have a chance of improving pedagogy. Okay. A classroom that allows students to quickly improve elementalism skills. Let's get more rooms, I think. Now, can I move some students over if I wanted to? Could I move your... Can I move? Who is someone? So, Salem, because you... Ah, I can! I can just drag! Cool! So let's put people who look a bit, you know, a bit naughty. We'll put Salem and Shell down here, because they got eye patches. And Darth Stoat, I think, down here into House Kraken. There we go. Into the shadow. And I'm guessing you kind of would look at it and be like, ooh, oh wait, Sheeps, you're a shadow disciple, so you should come down here as well. Child of nature, steadfast, ambitious, gourmet times two, arcane scholar, what was that one? Arcane magic. Passionate. There we go, that'll be a good... We'll see how we go from there. Close. How do I close this? 
close. Right, get to learning. Bit dodge, innit? Bit dodge. Wrong uns from the wrong side of the river. Do you know what I mean? From the rough village. Coming in with an eye patch. Farming accident. The minstrel. Greetings, mage. I am the minstrel, but I'm sure you've heard of me before. Not really. <gasps> the minstrel. He's so handsome. Tonight we're all going to see him sing at the tavern. The minstrel is distracting your students and they can't work properly. Go see him on the local map and take care of the problem. All oh, new students. All right, who wants to join? Get your hands up. And come on in. Raining spells, the perfect name for it. No longer Robert Rinso, but Raining of House Spells. You are an arcane scholar, aggressive and antisocial. <sighs> yes. And I read to put Lou Sherb as the sorting hat into House Kraken. Mm -mm -mm, Python. A shadow disciple, old fashioned and shifty, misbehaves much more than a normal student. Tisk tisk. Tisky tisky indeed. Python of esque. Kraken for sure. But I'm oh, coyote. <gasps> You're a bully and you're hyperactive. I feel like these students all have way more negative stuff. You're an alchemy apprentice, but you are a bully. The one who takes your lunch and tells you to stop hitting yourself. Damn. Kraken with you. Um, Treble. Deep of house treble. Chatty and slow, but you are a child of nature. There you are. You just move slower. Soft, slow, late to class. An actual slug. I like these descriptions. Um, house pancake. There we go. Now we have seven of each. I feel like I should get some more rooms. So let's build a shadow room because, you know, we've got some shadowy types, haven't we? Why can't I put... Oh, I can. Okay, so we'll have the shadow room right next there. The shadow teacher. Round belly, voracious, fun, athletic, punctual, demanding, pretentious, researcher. Who should be our shadow teacher? Good, appropriate. What's pedagogy mean? Unionized, chaotic, good. Fun. Punctual, moves faster. Gets hungry faster. Hunger lowers 30% slower whilst eating. Wage is 30% higher. Let's go with this guy. Oh, I wanted to change their name. I was going to make the shadow teacher Crane, but I mean, that guy looked nothing like Crane, huh? Oh, method of teaching. I see. What's up, Laura? How are you? Where do they... Who's chilling out here? Who's this? Ashley Kelly. You're chilling with the chickens. It's really cute. I like games like this. <clears throat> the magic tax. The royal tax department looked over your file and you forgot to pay tax on magic. This tax is easily forgotten, so we won't apply any penalties. Do not thank us. It is in our nature to help. Hmm. There is no way we're paying tax. Can we get an extension? We'll pay 120. How much gold do I have? 788? Uh, sure. So if we go to the map... To take care of this. Where, um, the minstrel is at the theatre. Look, Bear Island, it says it under our thing. I love that. Contact the theatre, the minstrel's tavern. Ah, my favourite admirer. Would you like an autograph? I need help to spread the word about our university. Our alchemists have made some beauty ointment. The tavern is closed to all students. The following effect is active. Minstrel distraction. I need two prison and one orc hound. So students are currently learning magic 15% slower because they're distracted by this rock star. Our students are above earthly pleasures. They will no longer be going to the tavern. And for that I need righteous cloister or one reliquary. Okay. Well, let's use him to spread word about the uni. Until we have that other stuff. 
So that feels kind of like an area kind of um, goal. Or world boss sort of thing. There we go. Who's in shadow class? Larisek. Learning. Learning the dark arts. In this room, students learn the dark and noxious arts of necromancy, demonology, and marketing. <laughs> oh no. Dormitory. I think you guys need some beds. We'll put those upstairs. Doesn't seem like it costs me money to place these, as far as I know. More students! Who wants to join the school? Mm -mm -mm -mm. Getting students very quickly, aren't we? Who wants to go to Bear Island Magic School? Let's get your names in here. Anyone? Any more? Filled up pretty quick. Anna, Miss Anna. Miss Anna of Family Station. You are courageous, allergic to crustaceans, and a procrastinator. And dumb! Reduced learning rate by 40%. How could they? But we will put you in house. Pancake. Oh my god, there's little orc kids! What? Okay, this is Gobbo. Gobbo is the orc child. Uh, Gobbo of House McSherbet. I love that. Comical. He's the little... He's your little... You know. Class clown. Hey, Gobbo Sherbet and House Kraken, please. There we go. Uh, jungle. No longer Vicky McGowan. The jung the jungle... In the jungle, the jungle of ha of, ha of house bomb. You're smart and steadfast, but a bully and a little deaf, unfortunately. Hmm. House cracking with you. Next, next, next. Laura. No longer Dave. Laura of Family Bright. What a lovely magical name. You are a diligent and arcane scholar, and you're brilliant. Your intelligence is brilliant. A bibliophobe. Make for inefficient library work. It is an actual phobia, for real. That said, in a magic school, it's understandable. An old-fashioned. You lose your sanity faster. Um, house pancake. Okay, we should probably build... Refect refectory. For them to eat. And a student's hall. Hang around in the hall. We'll put that next... Well, it's probably a bad idea to put it next to the bedroom, isn't it? Misbehaving up there. Put it there. The Assassin's Arena. Goes in the loft. Yes. Who is the teacher of the Master of Assassins? We have... A bad and a mediocre... I guess we'll go with the mediocre teacher. Ancient wisdom, ex-inquisitor, an elder, heavy sleeper. Hmm. Or this guy is fun and steadfast and just eats. Elder is slower, heavy sleeper, tiredness lowers 30% slower when the character is resting. <sighs> Maybe this guy. Can I rename these? I can. Assy Mukassassini. There we go. That's our assassin teacher. We orcs don't need much, and what we need, we take from those weak humans. On the other hand, you could give us things directly so that we don't have to kill you first. That way, everyone wins. Hmm. Pay tribute. Refuse. Free to come will pay the blood price and get attacked by orcs. Alchemists can craft what you need. I think we should be friendly with the orcs. We'll pay the tribute. Yeah. And then my last card, the Elementalist Dojo. Let's uh, put this out of the back here. Miso, Miso, fighting in the dojo. Good teacher. Poser. Bum, bum, bum. Doge, Doja Cat, McDojenstein. Alright. Mm -hmm -hmm. It is night time. The children are eating. 
I'm like, oh no. The bad kids are here. Who's this walking off? Larisek. Darth Stoat sitting with Chelsea and Deep Treble. Shell sitting on their own. Joined by Cat Woman. Everyone else coming in for a snack. Yeah, he's thinking about your books. Oh, I forgot to click these. More students. Who wants to jump in? Who wants to join? Bum bum bum. Da, da, da. Applications are open. Trish. Trish of Arpy. You're a goth and a heavy sleeper. Goth learns light magic slower. Well behaved. A well behaved goth into the house kraken. Thirsty. Yep. Ah, still cold from the fridge. Any other would be students? Oh, we start going with defaults. Alexandra of Moonred, hyperactive and aggressive, a light sleeper, but unbreakable. Pancake, we'll leave them out. Daphne Stormcalm. Mm -mm -mm. Emily, you are courageous and down to earth. Emily of Family FG. <laughs> Family Fig. Mmm, courageous down to earth pancake. Look at my beautiful archmage, my dear colleague. Always a pleasure to see you. I have the funniest story to tell you. One of our students became an archmage. He wasn't particularly bright, if you get my drift. I guess that's the miracle of our modern approach to teaching. What about you? I heard you trained some pretty good herbalists. You know, I think one of our students will soon become a mage. Receive the quest. Rest assured, I'm happy for you. This university doesn't have much to prove. Okay, yeah, one of these guys are going to be an archmage. I feel it. I feel it in my bones. Don't let me down, guys. Hey, look at the dueling room. Oh, wow. I wonder if we actually get to see you guys go in here and fight. We might do. Who's going to come in here and face off? Laura, are you going up there? I'm just watching. Gobo <laughs> Shabbat. Uh, I'll fight. Come on, who wants Sam? Who wants Sam? Larisek getting involved. Larisek versus Gobbo. Place your bets. Let's see, do they actually... Bright future. It's time to create specific teaching goals. We should put a curriculum together. Our students end up with great futures. What would you like to create? Dragon Slayer, Blade Master, Ghoul. Train a student for this future. Focus on the following types. Necromancy, Herbalism. Blade Master, Assassination, Herbalism, Retribution. Dragon Slayer, Retribution, and Beast Magic. Hmm. Well, because we have the Assassin Arena, maybe going for a Blade Master future is the most attainable because we have that special room, right? Let's try Blade Master then. Oh yeah, it's the two houses as well, look. Alexandra, cheering for Gobbo. Anna looking very pensive. Does that mean Gobbo won? Let's, let's assume so. Barreled Oriold. Pretentious, well off. Damn. Hamlet, Hamlet Hamster, has joined the school. Let's put a dummy into, uh, hmm. Let's keep it even. Dave, T.R. Mo, and if anyone else wants their name in, holler at me. And I should put you in. Brilliant, well off, but slow. Dave! Can't have, a, can't have a mage called Dave. Simply can't occur. Um, we'll have this be the kid that gets everyone picks on. They're called Waffly 
waffly, waffly McMaple. There we go. In-house pancake as well of all things. Allergic to pollen, hypochondriac. Diana Topinambor. Into Kraken. Bum bum. You can bin them, I guess, if you want to reject their application. I don't know why you would. It hasn't really made it clear yet what um, the limits are in terms of why you would reject anyone. Because I think we're just getting money. I guess because we've got to feed them, maybe? Watch this school fall apart because I've just accepted every student. Uh, Super Twix, thank you so much for the 25 months. I appreciate you. How you doing? Hope you had a great weekend. Thank you very, very much. Beautiful round number. Some cows have disappeared. You know what I found out counting my cows? There's one missing. It's the prettiest too. Was it you? Reputation with peasants. So I receive 600 shadow mana if I say yes. We use them for summoning rituals. Or we can use them in our alchemy or I can just say no. Let's assume that one of this, a bunch of you bad kids took the cows. Every respectable school needs a special magic discipline that they specialize in. It's crucial if you're to be recognized internationally. Hmm. I know some people think it's uncool, but I still like natural magic. Let's do nature. Makes sense for Bear Island, I think. And nature's kind of down the middle. Like, it could be good, it could be bad, right? Light's too much on the side of... Well, light. Alchemy, snooze. Let's do natural. Druids and that. Uh -oh. Let's communicate with the orc camp. Humans, what do you want? There is activity in the orc village. Grump, the chief's son, has once again, once again lost his little dog, Gnurfy. This is a good opportunity to be liked. I come to remind the clans that we are allies. I've heard your shamans are gifted. Can they help our uni? Clan orcs gather against the forces of evil. Together we can win. We tracked Gnurfy to that stream a bit further down. <gasps> that means we get the Orc Hound card. Decrease the desire of active students in the same room to misbehave and bites them occasionally to speed up the learning process. Um, Let's put that in the shadowy room. That seems like the kind of thing they would have in here, right? Can I not put... Wait. Doesn't it go on the chest or something? Ah, I see. Only if it's got that. So it can either go in here, which is like their room for relaxing in, or the dueling room. It can't go in here. This is getting a bit loud. <clears throat> and there it is. Look. An orc hound to wander around, lovely. Bam, bam, bam. More students. I feel like, should I start rejecting a bunch because of our upkeep costs? I don't want to take too many in. Let's just see if anyone's good. A bully? No. No. An orc. An elf, actually. Learns 30% faster in higher rooms, fourth floor and above. Only chooses among the four best futures. A deaf elf. I feel like we should take a deaf elf in. A delf. There we go. Into... A popular. Oh, look at her ears. Pancake. Light sleeper. Bully bin. There we go. Who's facing off? Hamlet Hamster and Laura. I feel like this is going quick. D 
deep in the bowels of the archives, and in turn just discovered the secret entrance leading to the old archives of King Boktolan IV. We're a bit scared to go there, maybe you can help us explore. Legends say they contain invaluable documents. Yeah. We'll bankroll an expedition. Sure. So now we can start drawing some cards. Nature deck. Can I do that yet? No? Arcane? Here we go. And I choose one. We already have the dojo. A Psy Crystal. Mil... Milliniving? Milliniv... Milliniving. Oh, it's an animal. This animal wanders your school. Working in the same room grants a chance to generate a, mi a milliwing. Okay, that's not how that looks. Milliwing feather, an alchemical component. Strange and enchanting, the milliwing, a winged snake. Okay. Let's put him up here in the, uh... Oh. Oh, God. <laughs> I feel like I've just pranked these students. I've just let a flying snake loose. Who's chilling up here? Pan and Trish. Let's buy a shadow deck. Demonic Chamber, a classroom that allows students to quickly improve demonology. A skull. Infernal Wings, when a student is level 4 in demonology and level 3 in necromancy, they get wings. And generate 125% more mana. Hmm, what do you think guys? Demon Chamber or Wings? We do have some students, like, learning the shadow stuff, so some of you could get wings. But also, I don't know if you're even going to be able to get to level 4 demonology without a demon chamber. Right? Like, don't we need that to learn? Demon chamber. And because we have that elf who likes to learn high up, I guess I should start building up. Demon Chamber. Sylvester Turnip. For the name alone is the teacher. And look, this is the assassin training room. Look how cool this is. You have to like, look, it's like an obstacle course and then assassinate the dummy in their bed. I love that. And here's the Demon Chamber. Spooky. <clears throat> Slow, chosen by the light. Bin. Norman Tagalock. Bin. Shifty, voracious. Bin. Malcolm, child of nature. Uh, we are doing nature. Bit slow, though. Bin. I wish I had some sort of clue as to how many I'm supposed to take. Is there a financials here where I can see? Because, obviously, if our outgoings is higher, right, then that's when we get into trouble. Number of students, 25. I don't know what these graphs are. Finances, there we go. So, income and expenses. It's probably what we want to see. Yeah. Bum, bum, bum. Room upkeep, minus 9, salary 54, gold 807, gold gain 700. Seems okay, I think. What am I, an expert? Psychological and physiological profiles. We have two dumb children. Six smart, eight normal. We're mostly well off. Got a couple, got a, quite a few poor students actually. Listen, it's equal learning opportunity for all. We're 12 chaotic. And good and evil and neutral kind of split. What's been studied? <clears throat> An anonymous cheerer coming in with five gift subs. Thank you very, very much for your support. Five gift subs coming on into the chat. Enjoy those emotes courtesy of a very generous ghost that haunts the halls of our magic university and occasionally pops up and gives some bears a scholarship for a month. You're only allowed to go to the school for a month and we kick you out, but Enjoy your month, and thank you for the support. Okay. What else do we have? Local map, head teacher's office. So it said something about, ah, oh, look, people's futures. 
I really want to see what you guys get. And then here are the rules. <gasps> we can do a women's and men's only if you want. Discipline strict. Organize a yearly contest between houses. They learn 10% faster and recover from tiredness and boredom slower. I think we should have a competition. Reduce curriculum by a year. Get a sponsor. Gain gold every season, but lose prestige. Secure the bag. Pre-selection. Only from wealthy families. Only sane students and most educated. Feels like there's quite a lot of cool features in this, right? Application fee. You can do a free wizard school, or you can be expensive. Dormitories. Free, paid, auto-managed. Salaries for teachers, and whether it's free meals or paid meals. Cool. That's pretty neat. Dear future client, I heard your establishment is suffering from significant sanitary woes. Let me offer you a few different options. A long cleaning session. Avoid cleaning formula. Organic formula. I like my school as it is. Um, let's get a janitor. I would think. Oh, you got a feather. Janitor's lodge at the back. Out the back here, like that. Separate. <clears throat> but the janitor's kind of hot, you know? Ma Ma Margaret Patun. Under the king's protection. When teaching, this teacher may increase your reputation with the king. They're friends with the second cousin. It's always a bad day for them, but they're relaxed and inspiring. Oh, what's happening here? Look. <laughs> what? What have you done, teacher? The kids are freaking out. Who accidentally opened a portal to the nether realm? How am I supposed to deal with this? Maybe it's one of these things. Students. Not right now. Come on, teacher, get rid of it. Meow, meow, meow. Oh, it's shrinking. Eh, what's going on in there? Trying to learn, buddy Porto. Oh, people in the demon room. Incredible news. The mages that you sent to the archives, they came back. They found an ancient spell book. Misplaced amidst the kingdom's accountancy ledgers. We hope it can be of use to you. We offer it to the king. No, that's ours. Yoink. Um, spell book. Nearby students have a chance of gaining specialization in a random school of magic. We'll put that in the... Where would the spell book go? Let's put it in the food room. Whoever looks at the spells whilst eating. Gobbo and Larisek summoning a demon. Uh, we became friends after our duel. After we did a duel in the dojo, now we summon demons together. Wait. You've literally got a tentacle on your head now. What you Hang on. <laughs> Ow. Oops. What? Are you possessed? You're turning into a squid pu I feel like you're in the wrong house. Interesting. Um. Just binning students for now. Hang on, what does this say? Oh, I can't click yet. There we go. Yeah, like, it's changed your portrait and everything. But there's, like, no mention of it. It's just like, oh yeah, you're a tentacle person now. I did see hordes of students misbehaving. They're making so much noise I can't concentrate. Go back to work. Stop bothering me with this nonsense. Draw a mystical eye card. Order enchanted shackles and teach them a lesson. 
Extreme situations call for extreme solutions. Draw the Pyre card. Um, Mystical Eye will spy on people. Tentacles. Active students in the room feel watched. They behave and work a bit better for a few minutes. These eyes were made by Eleonora Da Vinci. No matter where you stand, they're still watching you. Da Vinci? As if that's a little reference in there. Look, there's the janitor. janitor. Damn! Uh-oh. I spilt something. Oops. Oh! A demon was trying to come through. Alright, let's put the mystical eye in the... Assassin's room. Literally a thing of eyeballs here. Uh, a down-to-earth goth. Athletic. Yes, we shall take this student. You shall join house... Um, pancake. A light sleeper. A procrastinator. Diligent. Bin. Chosen by the light. Mm, pancake. Passionate heavy sleeper. Bin. Imagine applying to magic school and getting rejected. Heartbreaking. Alright, let's go to... The tavern. What do you need? Something's happening here. The guild's adventurers seem to have captured a gigantic creature that they're attempting with great difficulty to subjugate using ropes. This creature is not dangerous. Let it go. You get 30... You get a thousand natural mana and your reputation goes down. Let us handle it. We know what to do with such creatures. Draw the Pegasus card. Should we get the Pegasus? And have it live with us? I think we should. Let us handle that. Hand it over. This is a Pegasi. <gasps> Your reputation has to be 40? I can't... Wow. Okay. I can't even take it. Um, so I can tell them, together we can fight the armies of darkness. Or I can ask them for some loot. Damn. Need more rep. So now we have three milli wing feathers. I wonder what three of these in the... Oh, you can't use three of the same. Okay. Let's get some more cards from the shadow deck. Okay, so we have these two. So we take a crypt. Quickly improve necromancy skills. And we'll put that on top. And the teacher will be... Alexander Theoden. from the alchemy deck. An infirmary, heal your students. That seems like a good idea, I think, to have an infirmary. We'll pop this um, out back. It's on top of the janitor's place. Hello, nurse. Recruited. Oh, I hurt my uh, little toe. I better go and see the nurse. Just Gobbo just constantly hitting on the janitor and the nurse. Let's see, are you guys actually gonna run this? Chelsea, Arando, oh. Tribute for the Orcs. Who's running it currently? Python, attempting some sneaking. Oh, look at that use of a barrel. These new students out of here. And a perfect kill. Well done. Round of applause for some wonderful assassination technique. Oh, look, the nurse has arrived. Damn. 
Special goes. There she goes again. Fuck. Fuck. Nice. Nice. You're down with the thickness. Come on and get down with the thickness. Uh -uh, uh -uh. Dude, Gobbo would be the worst student, but also the most fun to have around. Anonymous Jury, thank you for the 69. A teacher's lounge, a medicine cabinet, more beds for the students. A teacher's lounge. And that will go here. So that will be next to the students' lounge as well. I kind of like how this is done with the cards, because like card games are pretty enjoyable. And this, instead of having to like place and build and stretch things out, like a two-point style, just throwing a card up here and it making it is like an interesting mix. I feel like we should take some more students in. Antisocial hypochondriac bin. Allergic to pollen, but otherwise fine. Um, Benedict Topinambor. House Kraken. Raymond Rinwald. Hyperactive Arcane Scholar, House Pancake. Thanks to their pitiful magical skills, Chelsea Toothers became peasant. <laughs> no! Your fate is a peasant! Yo, some of our first students are graduating. Congratulations, please welcome to the stage. Chelsea Toot, you have become a peasant. Increase peasant reputation, or you can re-roll your fate. Hmm, would you like to re-roll? <gasps> Look, these are the futures that are available for you. Peasant, village mage, or dead. So you, there's a chance you might die if we re-roll. <laughs> re so you can either become the local village witch, potentially, or die. It's, uh, I shall put it in your hands. Oh, I only have one reroll remaining. You'd rather be dead than a peasant. Well, let's see what happens. You're the village mage, and we receive 15 mana of each type. Due to middling magical talents, you have become the village mage. There you go. Salem has become a peasant, and your only possible futures were peasant or dead. That seems so rude, like the kid that's in school where you're like, you're either going to be a peasant or end up dead. What? I mean, there's no point in me even re-rolling that. Minus one prestige, but we do get increased peasant reputation. Oh no, the school is failing everyone. Python Escus has become a peasant. So wait, do you guys now leave school? I'm curious. Or is that just, what is that? I'm wondering. Bum, bum, bum. Here's the nurse's hospital. The janitor's room. It's because it's a new school. The Demon Lord's Familiar. Greetings, maids. During our last dungeon expedition, we killed the Demon Lord and we found his cat. He's without an owner. We can't bring ourselves to abandon him. We'll take the cat. A creature that wanders around the school and reduces the needs of characters working in the same room. Hell yeah. Do I just... Where can I put you? Who's F and C? Why can I put you anywhere, though? Maybe I need another room? Oh, wait, here we go. It welcomes everyone in. It's in the entrance. Mm -mm. Add you back in. Yeah, if you guys graduate, let's totally throw you back in and see if you can get a better future. Here you go. Python Junior. Next of their name into Kraken. So who did we just have graduate? It was also 